Now, before leaving for the United Kingdom, President Muhammad Buhari visited Mejiguri, the Bono state capital, where he commissioned some projects done by the state government. The projects include a new industrial hub, three primary schools and some housing estates. The president visit to Bornu was preceded uh, by a similar one in Lagos, southwest Nigeria. In Lagos, the president commissioned four major projects carried out by the Akumi and Body led administration. This next report has more details. This is President Muhammad Buhari's second visit to Lagos State in less than six months. And his first stop is the newly reconstructed Institute of Maternal and Child Health, popularly known as INK House. The president is here to commission the institute, which is Nigeria's biggest maternity hospital with a 170-bed health care and state-of-the-art medical equipment. After the unveiling of the plague and cutting of the tape, the president, accompanied by the state governor, Akin Omiyambodi, took a tour of the facility. The tour was followed by a speech from the state governor, who expressed optimism that the facility would provide quality health service to thousands of Lagosians and Nigerians. The new NK House is completely digitalized with state of the art medical equipment as well as information technology services supported by the state's Ministry of Science and Technology. Mr. President, as a state, we are aware that universal and basic primary health care is one of the cardinal priorities of your administration. Following in this direction, we have consciously worked to bring quality, affordable, and modern health care. All our the president also commissioned the Echo Theatre, an art facility expected to boost tourism in Lagos State. Oshodi is the next stop for the president. There he commissions the expanded 10-lane Martala Mohammed International Airport Road, which has been redesigned to include two flyover bridges and five pedestrian overhead bridges. And saved for the last is a $70 billion Oshodi transport interchange that can accommodate 820 mass transit buses. Speaking after the commissioning, the president lauded the Ambody led administration for the high impact project, which he says has brought about infrastructural development and opportunities for job creation. Governor Akil Miambode took the reins of power in 2015 after serving as the Accountant General of Lagos State for six years. Under his administration, the state recorded its highest internally generated revenue of 333 billion naira and has completed more than 500 projects. Fidel Agoncha, TV360 Nigeria.